Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Tinashe, and you're watching POWTV.com. Who is Tinashe? Um, Tinashe is an artist, um, a music lover, a creator. Um, I'm very hands-on. I like to be a part of my artistic process, whether that be creating my own music or my own music videos or writing my own songs. And I just live for my passion, and that's basically me in a nutshell. I'm goofy. I'm cool. I don't know. <laughs> Can I Gangnam Style? <laughs> to be 100% honest, I've never actually watched the full video through. Mostly because it like upset me that I felt like this guy like went out there and like created this like gimmick and was making like millions of dollars off of it. I'm like, music is such a joke nowadays. But I respect him for what he does. I respect him. I respect you, Sai. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, but I don't really know. I just feel like it's something like this or something. I don't know. Can I Gangnam Style? Probably could if I someone taught me or if I tried to. But <laughs> it's been a huge evolution for me musically and in my career. I started out in a girl group and we were together for like four years. But when we disbanded, I felt like it was an opportunity for me to be able to really express who I was as an artist and to really get out there and make the kind of music that I believe in and do that whole thing. So I was you know, very hands-on in making my, creating my mixtapes, and I made them in my bedroom, wrote and recorded them, put them online, and made the videos myself, and so that was kind of the evolutionary process, I guess, that you can find online, just on my YouTube channels. There, I started off doing some covers, and then um, some more original songs, and now that I have the two mixtapes out, I've got a new music video coming out at the end of this year that'll carry us over into 2013. And then I'm working on my album right now, so it's all just new music and new videos and good shit, good stuff. <laughs> I don't know, can I say that? Six all right, do I work out to get my six pack? Yeah. <laughs> I work out um, nearly every day that I'm able to. I actually really enjoy working out and being physically active, but dancing was a big part of my life growing up. So I'm a phys uh, physically, classically trained dancer for about 15 years. So um, I still dance, and I like to run, mostly to just build up my cardio for like performances, stage performance, so I can dance and sing at the same time. And then, yeah, I go to the gym. I go to the gym sometimes. The What's your favorite 2 Chain song? My favorite 2 Chain song is I'm Different. Oh. Yes, that is my favorite one. Every time it comes on the radio, I get ratchet for a second. I'm like, pull up on a scene with my ceiling. So you really listen to him. It's not just... No, that's my shit. That is my shit, literally. I really like that song. I'm not even gonna lie. It gets me all that too. I love it. Are you a sneakerhead? Yeah, a little bit. I'm a little bit of a sneakerhead. The last I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I'm like... See, when you ask most sneakerheads who are really sneakerheads, they're about that life. And I mean, they got boxes upon boxes upon boxes upon boxes of sneakers. And I wouldn't say I'm about that life necessarily, but I do enjoy my sneakers. So, you know, like I got the J's on today. I rock them most days of the week. But yeah, I'm a low key sneakerhead. Sure. What was the last pair you bought? Um, I think this was the last pair I bought actually. These ones. You see? The nines? <laughs> yes, the retro nines. I was, um, I was on my own for about a year after, you know, I left the group. Just doing my own thing, being independent, making music my way without any kind of like outside influence. And I really was kind of holding out, waiting for the right situation where I was going to find a company who was, you know, really supportive of who I was as an artist and wasn't going to try to like change me or mold me into, you know, their vision. So RCA was really, you know, supportive of me. So I was really excited to sign with them. And they've been very supportive so far. and and setting me up with like producers and like dope sessions and stuff like that so I'm happy I'm excited it's gonna be good do you work with rappers at all because I didn't really see any yeah I mean so far I really haven't done that many collabs I've been trying not to kind of in a way um just because I wanted to keep you know myself pure in a sense as in you know the music that you've been hearing has just been coming from me and you've been hearing it from me the first time I plan to do a lot more collabs like on my new album I'll probably have some rappers but I haven't been directly like collabing with that many people so far since you're signed with RCA you should do like 
a ratchet song with Travis Porter. <laughs> that would be awesome. That like, would be awesome. I'd buy like 20 albums if you did that. <laughs> the Travis Porter Tinashe Ratchet remix album. Yeah, and that and that goes together real well, Travis Porter and Tinashe. You're right, it does. It kind of rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Travis Porter Tinashe collab. Um, no. I've been to a couple of strip clubs and made it rain. I didn't make it make it rain in a major way. It was not a storm. It was like a mild drizzle. It was like it was like dusting that day, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I plan on returning and making it like thunderstorm. Awesome. The next, the next strip club experience is gonna be popping. So whoever whoever is the lucky girl there that night, <laughs> she's gonna be making bank. <laughs> you can find a little bit more about me on my website tinashenow.com. Or you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Tinashe, YouTube, Tinashe Now, and Facebook, Instagram, all those things. MySpace, I don't know, new MySpace is coming out soon, so I don't know. Maybe you can be the first ones on there. Hit me up. Friend request, top eight. I'll be number one. That's it. <laughs>